In 1957, Francis Crick first proposed that chemicals called bases along the spine of the DNA molecule function as alphabetic characters in a written language or digital characters in a machine code. This animation shows how this digital information directs protein synthesis. First, a large protein complex separates the tightly wound strands of the DNA to prepare it to be copied. During this process of transcription, a protein complex called a polymerase produces a single-stranded copy of the original instructions. Here we see this copy, a messenger RNA molecule, being constructed inside the polymerase as individual bases are positioned and added to the growing strand. Now we see the polymerase in action from the outside as it spits out the messenger RNA transcript. Next, this RNA transcript approaches and passes through a molecular machine called the nuclear pore complex, an information recognition device that controls the flow of information in and out of the cell's nucleus. Now we see the genetic assembly instructions on the messenger RNA approaching and arriving at a two-part chemical factory called a ribosome, the site of protein synthesis. As the messenger RNA transcript passes through the ribosome, the process of translation begins. During translation, a mechanical assembly line builds a specifically sequenced chain of amino acids in accord with the instructions on the transcript. These amino acids are transported from other parts of the cell by molecules called transfer RNAs, which link specific sequences of bases to corresponding amino acids. The sequential arrangement of the amino acids determines the type of protein constructed. When the construction of the chain is complete, it is transported to a barrel-shaped machine that helps fold it into the precise shape required to perform its function. After the chain is folded into a protein, it is released into the outer cytoplasm to do its job in the cell.